If you've ever laid your eyes on these two brands, you know that they look very similar. So much so, it is very easy to get them confused. But did you know at one point, they were both helping each other manufacture one of the most iconic boots then. They were inseparable until Doc Martens hit some hard times and decided to end their partnership. So Lover decided to take matters into their own hands and went from being friends to competitors. Today, I'm going to be comparing these two. We have the Solovere Boots, which has a legacy of quality craftsmanship. And in the other corner, we have the legendary Doc Martin Boots, known for the iconic stitching and air cushion soles. It's time to lace up and see which one of these boots will come out on top. We will be looking at the differences between the appearance of both, how comfortable they are, does the shank make a difference, and finally, my thoughts on both as a person who owns a lot of Doc Martens. Can the Solo Vare change my mind about Doc Martens? This is my first pair of Solo Vares. The one I bought is the AI Grease Leather Derby Boots, which is the direct competitor to the iconic Doc Martens 1460s. And the pair of Doc Martens that I do have are the Made in England. When it comes to the stitching, the Doc Martens stitching are stitched around the upper of the boots while the Solo Vare use the stitch down method, which the upper leather turns outward and it is stitched directly into the midsole. Doc Martens are known for their air cushion soles and they call them the bouncing soles. While Solo Vare has something similar, they call it sole of air. From an untrained eye, it seems like the Solo Vare grease leather is thicker than the 1460s made in England quillen leather. Also, I wanted to say, when it comes to sizing, these two are both US size 9. This is the first time putting on Solo Vares. And the leather was very firm, but it was still comfortable. I had a couple pain points, and they were the stitching on the tongue, it was poking every time I walked, and the lower back part of my feet. It started to hurt because of how firm that part of the boot is. This is my plan to break into my Solo Vares. I'm gonna start by putting the Wonder Bomb on there and then also heating it up so that it can get deep into the leather and hopefully soften the leather. After that, I plan on walking about 10K steps a day, which eventually will help break into them faster. Also, I'll use two pair of socks to protect my feet or I'll just wear the Doc Martens double sock. Lastly, I stuff my boots with newspapers while I'm not wearing them so that it can still keep the shape and it will be easier for me to break into them. This is usually the method I use to break into my Doc Martens. Within a week, I felt like my sole of theirs were very comfortable. And by the 30th day, they felt like they were broken into. They had molded into my feet. A significant difference between the two brands is one pair of boots has a shank while the other does not. Regarding boots, a shank is a thin piece of material between the insole and the outsole, intended to support the feet and provide structure. The question is, are they necessary for quality boots? Let's find out. New York is one of those places where I think it's acceptable to be different and yes me wearing two different boots is a little bit crazy and while I was in New York I didn't get a lot of stares I'm pretty sure if I did that other places I would have gotten a lot of stares so the results to my unscientific experiment the first thing I noticed was I can definitely feel the shank in the solo vare boots literally I walked about over 30k steps and you can feel like the back of your foot the heel section of the solar vare boots they're like a little bit 
thicker or just harder whenever you walk, which if you're like a worker worker, you need it to climb ladders and things like that, it's good. But when it came to my Doc Martens, I mean, they were fine. I felt it being a little bit softer than the Solo Vair since it's on the other foot, I can feel the difference. And also on both of them, there was a slight pain point. It was at the balls of my feet. Maybe it's because I walked so much, you know? But I didn't really notice that much of a difference. I'll have to say, usually people say that boots without a shank, they start to feel fatigue. Maybe this will happen further down the line. For example, if I had these for like, let's say five, 10 years down the line, I do feel like the Solo Vares would be better longer because of that shank. It will keep that support and stability but so far with my Doc Martens, I've had them for what, two years? And they've kept up, they're not too damaged, they feel good, and yeah, they're good to walk around in. For the overall comparison of this two, let's start by talking about the pricing. When it comes to pricing, as of making this video, the Solo Vares, they're a little bit cheaper than the 1460s made in England. I feel like the Made in England are like the flagship of the Doc Martens. They're like the original, the classic and everything. But also Doc Martens has the Asian ones, which are a little bit cheaper than the Solo Vares. So it's up to you which one you wanna get. When it comes to the quality, I'll have to say the Solo Vare, they just seem a little bit better. It's more firm. But when it comes to the Doc Martens, it's like thin and I don't know, I have an untrained eye, so I might be wrong on this, but for me, just by looking at it, feeling it, putting it on, it seems like the Solo Vair are just a little bit better. Also, I do wanna say that Doc Martens do have a big follow fan base and things like that, so it also plays a big role because a lot of people have been complaining about their quality. So I don't know if that's a negative on them, or is it good on Solo Vare since that they don't have like a big fan base support group or like buyers and things like that? Because I haven't heard a lot of bad about the Solo Vares. When it comes to the style of each brand, I'll have to say Doc Martens, they're the bigger brand. They have done more. There's more styles, more variations of Doc Martens. There's like literally a Doc Martens for everyone. There's something that kind of fits your style, your vibe or something like that. And then also Doc Martens, they've done a great job marketing themselves. They do a lot of collaborations with brands or even individual artists just to make sure that their stuff is out there and they're always, I wanna say innovating, but they're always trying to do more and more with their inventory. They're always trying to, I guess, push the, the limit and trying to make new pair of boots even good or bad, but it fits a wide range of audience. While on the opposite end, you have the Solo Vare. Yes, they do have the core boots, which are good, and I feel like they're necessary. They don't have to do so much because I feel like they are a smaller brand, and for what they're doing, I feel like it's great. When it comes to sizing, as you may know, Doc Martens, they don't do half sizes, but Solo Vares, they do half sizes, which is amazing. I feel like Doc Martens should come around to making half sizes because it's been so long. I feel like they're not fully getting into their customer base because they can make more and more money. A lot of people complain about trying to find a Doc Mart size. Imagine if they made half sizes. They can probably even do more, but I don't know, maybe in the background, they're slowly collaborating with Solo Vare so that they have a market and they have a market too. But I don't know. I wish Doc Martens would do half sizes. It would make it so much easier on a lot of people but Solo Vare solves that problem. Lastly, the biggest thing that Solo Vare offers is that you can resole their boots. Literally, I feel like this is a game changer because with Doc Martens, you cannot resole the boots. So after they're done, you have to buy another one. But with Solo Vare, you can resole them if you can buy some on their website. But it's a little bit difficult trying to find your size and everything, but if you can, it's definitely a game changer. You can have a pair of boots, resole them all the time, and they'll last for you for a lifetime. So my question to you is, are you taking the blue pill or the red pill?